Let's get a move on then and connect with Mayur Malik. He is a research analyst at India Nivesh Securities. Um, joining in to talk a little bit about the overall outlook of the markets as well as uh, individual sectors. Um, good to have you in our studios. And uh, to begin with, um, let's talk about the auto space as a whole. Clearly, it seems like the distress is very eminent. Companies like Maruti as well have been waving the red flag, talking about production cuts. Um, do you believe that this is the start of a problem that is going to run far deeper than one is imagining? So, you know, I think there is too much pessimism around at this point in time. <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, we'd been to uh, Madhya Pradesh uh, about 10 days back uh, for our channel checks. And, uh, you know, the, the thing that has come out, of course, yes, there is slowdown. No, no two things about that. But I don't see the kind of pessimism that, you know, we've been really going through. I think sales are happening. The companies have probably produced ahead of the season, and because probably there was not enough take on on the season, you are seeing these rounds of uh, you know the production cuts. But honestly, I think with the kind of correction that has happened, I think most pessimism should be in the price. I I honestly think the street has been a little too harsh on uh, the auto manufacturers. That's the most optimistic take I've heard on auto in a, in a really long time, but. Um, well, wouldn't they have liked to see more from the budget? There was no recognition of the stress that the industry is under. Do you think this is purely, you know, just about kickstarting consumption? Because there's there are also so many structural issues that the industry is dealing with. I think uh, you know. I think the biggest uh, issue at this point in time with the auto is you know uh, there is this confusion that you are really supposed to pump in money for the BS six. And at, at one point in time, the government is really focusing on the electric part. So, you know, so, so there is this huge confusion mm. that I think is really at this point really bothering the industry. I'm sure, uh, you know, representations would have gone, uh, you know, at one point in time, you're really investing so much for the BS6 mm. and then you're not giving enough time for them to really recover money out of that and already, uh, you know, wanting them to invest into the e-mobility as well. So I think that is where the whole uh, confusion chaos is. I think the industry is looking for, uh, you know, representations on those side and probably some uh, better clarifications from the government. I think that is where uh, there is this whole mismatch. Mm. Okay. So, you know, there was a point of view coming in. Um, in fact, from Manish Shokhani, we, were, we spoke to him post the budget and he kind of said that, I mean, he's still very bullish on auto. And, he, and, and there's a sense in the market that, they'll just be forced to kind of disrupt and reorient but there's no way that they won't continue to grow if you're off that point of view what's the kind of time frame before we even begin to see a pickup what would be the names that you'd be looking at that you feel could actually adapt to the kind of changes the industry is seeing you know auto has been a cyclical industry we've seen our shares of ups and downs mm. uh, you know in in all this while uh, a hero still manages to sell well above five and a half lakh, six lakh units a month. Uh, you know, getting a stock like that, a cash rich company, zero debt at a 12p one year forward. I think it's it's a valuation wise. I think they are they are pretty pretty well placed. Uh, as far as I think the pickup is concerned, you know, we've seen one good round of monsoon when we'd been to uh, Uttar Pradesh uh, a couple of months back. Now to MP, uh, we've heard you know that uh, there are concerns. Uh, but uh, if if there is uh, enough pickup in the rural, you will probably start uh, seeing you know those numbers come back to the two wheelers mm -hmm. particularly. So I think uh, yes, the monsoon will play a role. Uh, the government has to focus on public spending. I think I think one aspect that probably was not directly answered in this budget was uh, you know something specific for the consumption sector. Uh, we didn't hear, hear anything really uh, you know as a focus on the uh, rural. Uh, upliftment mm. i think um, nothing majorly on uh, uh, higher msps or or mandregas or you know so i think that is where uh, the focus has to come back and once you start seeing some green shoots people are hopeful at least the dealers that we've met through they are hopeful that you know the season starts from august and september uh, they are hopeful that they should start seeing some good numbers coming there so yes i think a couple of months of slowdown but you should start seeing some good numbers coming this festival you don't think it's more likely six months too early to say that, you know. Uh, this festive I think, season. So, okay. so, you know, we've already seen this slowdown right from October till now. So, it's mm -hmm. been a good seven, eight months mm -hmm. now uh, where you've not seen a retail offtake in a very good way. I think the base effect will start coming into play. Uh, you will have the pre-buying coming in. So, there are enough triggers there. Uh, 
I think number should come back. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty hopeful. Abha just asked you about where you're seeing opportunities. You said two wheelers. Can you share some names? So I think uh, Hero will be our topic, uh, followed with Bajaj. I still think uh, you know while uh, the street has been a little gung on TVS Motors, uh, we 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 particularly are negative on that. Mm -hmm. We still think uh, that you know uh, my my personal thing with TVS is you know you have a TVS Apache there. Uh, you have Jupiter which does good for you and you had a significant uh, rally into the three wheeler numbers last month, last year. Uh, still you did not see a significant expansion into EBITDA margins. Uh, my sense is that you know basic calculation suggests that they either uh, sell the mopeds or the other stuff probably at, at absolutely zero margins. Uh, the stock still trades at a PE of about 18, 19. Mm -hmm. if, if a hero and Bajaj is available at 12 and 15, I wouldn't want to look at TVS at this point. So we'll probably, in a pecking order, we'll probably pick up a hero followed by Bajaj and probably avoid uh, TVS at this point. Yeah, and even the stock consensus earnings for FY20 for TVS Motor has been trimmed quite significantly by 12 to 15 percent. Thanks very much for joining in and giving us a view as to what you're making of the slowdown within the auto sector. What is the need of the R as well as that confusion that we're seeing with BS6 and then the announcements on EVs. Naturally, some of these auto companies are up in arms.